So good evening. I'm going to talk about how I honestly finagled nearly 13 White House invitations um, in 2016. I haven't finagled any since then. <laughs> so it, my story all begins on April 18th, 2015. I demonstrated math, or I hosted Julia Robinson Math Festival activities at the National Math Festival at the Smithsonian. And when I was there, Megan Smith came up and um, started chatting with me. In, in case any of you don't know who Megan Smith is, she was Chief Technology Officer of the United States and an assistant to Obama. I had met her about 30 years ago, uh, but I met her most recently um, when I invited her to the Julia Robinson Math Festival at Pixar. And uh, we wanted, we had had a Julia Robinson Math Festival at Google, and I wanted to have one again there. And Megan, after attending the one at Pixar, said, can I have one at Google? And I said, I was delighted, and we had one the next year. Oh, whoops, before I would go there. OK, uh, so I was thinking, oh, I'd love to have a Julia Robinson Math Festival at the White House. So I wrote her several times and received no reply. But a good time later, like six months later, she wrote me, quick question, are you going to the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics Conference in San Francisco? Now, normally I don't go, but I live in Burlingame, which is a half an hour from San Francisco, so that year I went. So I wrote her immediately back. Every time she writes me, I write her back right away. So I wrote her back, and then a couple days later, she wrote me another question. Would you ever come to DC for the summer to upgrade math learning for the country? Of course, yes. So I said yes, but I knew that before I had written her and she hadn't responded. So I decided I was going to do more than just say yes. Also, I was a little bit worried saying yes because I wasn't sure what I was going to do about upgrading math learning. But I knew lots of people who do great math learning. So I wrote her about a number of people, and I actually kept on refining the list, and I kept on asking people, did they know other people that were doing great math learning? And I refined the list and refined the list and refined the list. And the list got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I created a Google Doc with the list. Anyway, um, but before that, I, was in, I went to Maryland. And um, when I went to Maryland, I asked uh, Megan, uh, could I get together with her? And she said yes. So um, she said, why don't we get together May 20th? So on May 20th, I'm on my way to meet with Megan. And I had an appointment at 4. I don't know whether any of you know what happened at 3. Here's a picture to show you some of what happened at 3. OK, do you remember that day? So there was a shooter at the White House that beat me there. So I got a call saying, we're on lockdown. So, so don't come now. Anyway, lockdown came off in about three or four hours. And I'm pleased to say, that there I am with Megan in front of the um, EEOB office, the Eisenhower Executive Office Building. And because Obama wasn't in town that day, she gave me a tour of the White House. That was all very nice. And I don't know whether you've ever been to the Eisenhower Executive Office Building, but it's beautiful. So here are some pictures of it. Um, Megan was all excited about certain things. And she was like, can you introduce me to this person? And I said, you know, fortunately, I'd met her here. So I said, yes. And she, and she said, oh, and we should have a screening of the man who knew infinity at the White House. I said, that's great. And I actually had hooked up with those people. So I said, oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll, I'll invite them. I'll connect you with them. So anyway, I started um, brainstorming my ideas of who to send, you know, who to introduce her to. And, um, and then I created a Google Doc and sent her a huge Google Doc with pictures of these people, email addresses of these people. And for the most part, I didn't get any responses back until I got this great response back. I was so excited. At least somebody was reading my email. We are unable to access Google Docs from the White House. Can you send it as an attachment? So wow, that was great. That was the, you know, a wonderful, positive response. So. Um, so uh, I did send it as an attachment. OK. And then, uh, um, and then a little bit later, I received this. 
August 8th, invited to a Next Generation High School Summit on, um, on September 12th. And so I, I said I would go. The next day, I received this. And I thought, maybe it's the same thing. But I noticed it was, it was August 9th, and this was for August 11th. I knew that I got two invitations in two days, but I decided to go ahead and go those two days. Um, when I went, here I am at that meeting. And then she sent me an email message inviting me to September 8th. I accepted, and I had nearly uh, um, 13 invitations to the White House by the end. And if you want to help join me on my adventure of opening doors to higher education for the young and the young at heart, please follow up with me.